Aloha, you are probably surprised to see a submission presented in a video format, but I thought that this is actually the best way for me to showcase my online course. I wanted to give you a glimpse of what students experience when they decide to take the introduction to digital photography at UH West Oahu. Last fall, I undertook a large task of developing an online photography course. I feel very passionate about instructional technology and I feel very passionate about photography and this was a great opportunity for me to try something new. I wanted my students to feel that they knew and had a real relationship with their instructor and that's why I created videos like this one that were really meant to emulate the face-to-face -face interaction but in an online setting. The video format was also very effective in illustrating the visual concepts. In order to get the points across in a clear and engaging way, I used a lot of examples, I used annotation, I used animation, I tried to use humor and, and I even used some sound effects. One set of numbers, you already know that's the aperture, most likely the other one next to it is going to be shutter speed. And as you move the other wheel on your camera, you are going to see that number change from 100 to 125, 160, 200, 250, 300, eventually going up to 500 and 1000 and so on. If you see that number, this is your shutter speed and you just discovered the shutter speed wheel. In total, I created over 17 hours of instructional video content. I wanted to make sure that the online students felt that they were a part of the UH West Oahu community. I wanted the course to have a distinct West Oahu feel. That's why all videos were shot right here on campus and most of the examples I used were photographs I took on campus, sometimes using our students as models. And another obvious element that stands out in this particular frame is the library tower, right? Here it is. So I'm trying to move my camera, position my camera where the flower and the library tower are aligned with the intersections of the lines of rule of thirds. And here it is. Using the rule of thirds, I found this composition. The photographs that were not taken on campus were photographs in which I showcased Hawaii or Hawaii's history in some way. I also reached out to local models such as Shaholi Ayers and asked them to participate in this project. Shaholi is one of Hawaii's most celebrated models and a great example of strength and overcoming adversity. I ended up taking over a thousand photographs in preparation for this course. But for my students, all of the examples and all of the instructional videos are only part of the experience. I wanted to make sure that they feel that they are engaged in a constant dialogue with me, the instructor. I wanted to be able to provide feedback that would be just as effective as me looking over their shoulder and commenting on their photographs. When students submit their weekly photo assignments, I send them my feedback in the form of a video recording showing me annotate on their photos as I talk about them. Aloha Christy, this is Wojtek. Week 9 photo assignment is all about taking your main subject and place, placing it in the middle ground in your photograph. Uh, I love this picture. This one, uh, I have to say, this is my favorite out of the pictures you submitted today. I love all the different layers and I also like how you have your foreground elements really focus our attention on on her. This is working really, really well. You have your clothespins kind of create this frame over here in which it's really natural for us and the line, right? And then this clothespin here and the sheet. All of them kind of create this area over here, kind of create this circle and of course you have your main subject right inside of that circle. I love this composition. I also love that there is nothing in the background that will be distracting us. Uh, it's a very dynamic composition. It's a very organic looking composition, right? It doesn't feel staged at all. Each time I make a feedback video, I also have an easy access to that student's past work. I often notice and note students' improvement in areas such as picture composition or use of light. 
a feedback video often turns into a brief review of the student's portfolio. So I'm also very happy to see the progression, you know, as I'm looking at your photographs here, I am really happy. There are many pictures I'm impressed with, but I, I am very happy to see the improvement, the progression in your portfolio and see how you improve week after week. And especially this last batch of pictures here, just seeing how creative you can be with the composition and with using foreground. Uh, I'm really excited to see, to see this new direction you're taking. Students seem to really enjoy this approach, and many of them praised it in their survey responses. In addition to the student-teacher dialogue, I used the discussion feature in Laulima to facilitate peer critique. Students are required to critique each other's work. I use weekly quizzes to test their understanding of new concepts. The midterm and final online tests force them to review and reflect on what they have learned over the span of multiple weeks. Many of the quiz and test questions focus on problem solving. It is not enough for students to memorize definitions. They have to have a deep understanding of covered concepts to arrive at the right answer. Thanks to the gradebook tool, which is constantly updated, my students always know where they stand in my course. As a matter of fact, I submit the grades for the photo assignments within 48 hours after the deadline. So there is never any confusion. There are many clear advantages of taking this course online. The entire experience is asynchronous, making it very convenient, especially for the working student. Students can access the videos anytime they want to. They can rewind them. They can watch them as many times as they want to. They can watch my feedback videos when they have time, and they can watch them as many times as they need to to really understand the covered concepts. When I started this project, I believed that digital photography is a subject where an online class can be even more effective than a face-to-face -face one. I don't yet have enough data to prove this to be the case, but so far I am very happy with the results. And speaking of the results, I really hope that you have a chance to review my teacher evaluations. Many of the answers address the experience of taking this course online, and as you will see, students were very, very satisfied. As for the student performance, I am very happy with their progress, and I am really, really impressed with their work. As a matter of fact, I would like to end this video by showing you some of their photographs. Please keep in mind that this is a 100 level course and because of its DA designation, most of the students taking it do not major in creative media. Actually, all of the photographs you see here were taken by students who do not major in creative media and who had no prior photography experience. I hope you enjoy!